Hey guys, uh, it is Sunday, August 11th, and we are going out for a little impromptu local stern chase. Um, I wouldn't normally go out for something like this, it's not severe warned yet, and it doesn't look really incredible visually, but uh, we actually had a garage sale this last weekend. So currently, our garage is full of tables of baby clothes and all kinds of other knickknacks. So. I do not want the uh, pilot to get in any hail because it's kind of our nice car. Um, so I'm going to drive downtown probably and go to the parking garage and we're going to watch this storm come into Rapid City uh, this afternoon just to see what it's got. So stick around. All right, so we're downtown at the parking garage. Um, I'm actually outside because why not go for a free car wash while you're out? Just it's properly heavy rain. Okay, so a slight change of plans. Um, we got our all natural certified 100% organic car wash. Um, and now we are heading south towards Hermosa because there's a storm that's on radar that is heading basically straight for Hermosa. Storm motions are only 25 miles an hour, um, which is super manageable to keep up with. So we're gonna check this thing out, see if we can get a little bit of storm structure and uh, see what this next storm has. The last one in Rapid City, torrential rainfall. I'm positive there is probably some localized flooding happening in Rapid City, um, but I didn't want to stick ground to shoot that. So we're gonna head south towards Hermosa into the sun and ahead of this next supercell. Here's the rain that was just inundating Rapid City. It's super heavy rate call rates. And here's our core. So we're going to head south and get ahead of this thing. sheltering at the gas station here. Just got hit by the front. It showed up just in time because uh, now we're blocked in, we're surrounded by cars. People are just sheltering here at the gas station to uh, avoid hail damage. So you snooze, you lose, you gotta get here early. Early bird gets the worm. Um, Early bird gets the parking spot for hail protection. I don't know. actually missed the worst of it right here in Hermosa. I think for the, about the third time this year, the heaviest part of the hail core went just north of town. Um, so as we go north, maybe I'll check the shoulder and uh, see if there are any larger hailstones kind of sitting in the grass. So 
up. There you have it. Uh, we checked up a hail just north of Hermosa, about two and a half miles north, and uh, found quite a few hail drifts um, where it had accumulated. Because storms around here apparently don't like to just do a little bit of hail and then leave. They like to train over the same area and just dump uh, quarters and nickels and, and golf ball size hail. So the biggest we found, I think, was probably quarters. Um, it was worn for ping pong ball size hail. And I believe that we got to it uh, a little bit after it had uh, fallen. So it had melted a little bit. Uh, but there are some spiky ones, some round ones. And it seemed like all these hailstones had a, a nice little floating white pour in the middle of them and then a clear uh, exterior shell. So kind of cool to see the different hail structure that you get with different snorks. They're all different. Uh, but, you know, that was a fun one. Good local chase. We succeeded in avoiding hail. We saw a storm and we also got a free car wash. So uh, in my book, that's a pretty good day. So hope you guys stuck around and enjoyed this one. And uh, as always, everybody, till next time, keep an eye on the sky.